All right, everyone, part two. So if you're watching this video, it means that you have mastered the fox face, uh, which will then lead us in this video. I'll take us through how to finish it to create the running deer or the running dog. So if you haven't watched part one, watch part one, and then we'll, uh, this one will get you to the end result of the running deer. Grab your strings, everyone. All right, everyone, part two. Here we go. So I'll run through the first part quickly, but there is part one video to learn to the fox face, and then this is gonna show you the next steps. So on your thumbs, indexes loop around, thumbs pick up the palms, pinkies go in, get this straight, find the X that's on top, thumbs loop under, Navajo, drop that index to that familiar fox face. Hopefully you've all been practicing the fox face. So the next step um, is all gonna be done for me by my right index finger. So my right index finger is gonna, from the back, go into kind of the mouth of the fox, so that bottom triangle, and I'm gonna pick up the two strings um, and go back through the ear. So I kind of come and I pick up, for me, it's like a blue one and an orange one. I'm picking up with my index finger, like so. And then I'm gonna take my index finger and go down through the thumb loop and push back that diagonal one that goes down to the bottom. So you can see I've got two strings on that side of my index and two strings on this side. And I'm gonna hook on to this uh, very bottom string that goes to my pinky there. So I'm gonna hook on and I actually wanna pull that through those four strings. So it's a little bit tricky and you can sometimes use your other hand to help do that in order to pull it through those four strings and I can just kind of rest it on top, like so. And now my left pinky, I'm gonna loosely just let go of the pinky loop, and I'm gonna come in front here, and I'm actually gonna take that loop off of the index. And so I can take it, my index is now free, and I'm just gonna tighten, pull it down, like so, and we've actually created, that's gonna be the head of the deer. So we're getting close. Next, our good old index finger is gonna do some more work. So it comes in through this big loop and it actually is gonna join the pinky. It's gonna go down through the pinky loop, like so. And you'll see that there's kind of a little um, semicircle hole opening there. So my index finger is gonna go down through that loop, down, and it's actually gonna come up through the hole there. So same sort of thing, I want the two, two strings um, kind of on either side of my index finger. It's a little tricky to show you, of course. So once I've done that, I can actually just, uh, it's like pulling a trigger, I'm gonna tuck my index finger back and you'll see that I've actually created um, a little pocket and there's a single string there, uh, the blue string that I've separated between those double loops. So my index finger is going to, I'm going to very gently let go of my thumb and my pinky and pull my index finger just a little bit. And then the rest of my fingers are going to join my index finger like so and straighten up and you have your deer. So you've got your deer, you can see the little tail and the legs and the head. And then to make it run across, um, you're just going to kind of go back and forth and tighten with your um, right hand for me to make him run across, or her. All right, let's do that again. So we all know how to get to the fox face. So we go around. Got the fox face? So. Index finger comes into the lower triangle by the mouth and picks up, it's gonna go kind of back through the ear to pick up those two strings. And then it's gonna go into the thumb loop and push back that diagonal string to go into the pinky loop. So that I've got the two strings on the back, two on the front, and hook this bottom loop 
and pull it through all of those strings. So you can use your other hand or you can just kind of tighten it so that you pull it all the way through. So now there's no strings on your index, you just have that uh, loop from the bottom. My left pinky is gonna let go, come around the front and hook that string, take it off of the index. I can now let go and pull tight. I've got the little head of the deer. My right index is gonna go down into the pinky and it's kind of a twisting motion because I'm gonna go up through that little hole and then twist and hook on to the single string there. So I'll do that again. So I'm gonna go down, I come up and you just kind of wrap around and you'll actually separate the loops and I can loosely let go of my thumb and pinky and I now have that single string that the rest of my fingers join. And I sometimes uh, extend my index finger like that to make it a little bit of a taller deer or dog, of course. And then we can make it run across. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there you have it, running deer, running dog. It's a tricky one. Hope you uh, have successfully made it. And if not, watch the video again and I'm sure you'll get it in no time. Thanks for joining, bye.